my friends. I hope uh, 2024 has been off to a good start for you all. Uh, for myself, I've uh, been back in Lake Gergini in northern Greece for about a week. Uh, and uh, I finally managed to come out today to uh, see if I can find a location for uh, my camera trap. Uh, so, a new diary starting for 2024. Um, I thought I'd come back to one of the locations that I've used in the past that I was trying to uh, get a shot of the wolf uh, that I found tracks of last year. Um, and was unsuccessful in in uh, in doing that. So until I can scout a, another location or another couple of locations for the trap for the camera trap, I thought I would come back, set the camera trap up here, uh, and see if we might get lucky. Um, I've come down to this pond uh, just off the lake, uh, at the northern end of the lake, and there's um, a path that follows along. Uh, along the side of the lake here, goes underneath the log that I'm sitting on, the fallen tree, and carries on past me uh, in that direction. And um, I have spotted in the past jackals using this path. Um, both I recorded them on trail cams, uh, and uh, also I've actually seen them whilst I was uh, in a hide on the opposite side uh, trying to film the otter that is also resident on this pond. And this location here, I'm hoping that we might uh, get the, the otter coming out because this is where he did emerge from the water last year as well. Um, so there's a chance at this location of jackal, wolf, otter, uh, badger, fox, uh, and um, stone martin or beech martin, whichever name you prefer. Um, so it's not a bad spot. Um, I just have to be lucky with uh, what comes along, I guess. So let me set it all up uh, and then I shall talk you through my setup. Okay, see you in a second. That's uh, all done, set up. I have the uh, camera set up uh, just on the edge of the pond here, uh, looking back up the path this way. Uh, the trigger is behind me and a flash, a top-down flash on the tree here overlooking the path. Uh, behind the camera here is another flash on the branch uh, over the water looking back across, so that's a side light, uh, hopefully. Uh, there's a trail cam, which is, that's in my new trail cam on this tree here, um, which is a low glow uh, trail cam, so hopefully the uh, canines won't be too offended by its presence, uh, and hopefully it will capture something. And I have another trail camera up high on the tree over there, surveying the whole scene uh, from a wider angle. So yeah, I have a, a workshop group arriving in a couple of days time for a, a workshop for the pelicans. Uh, so I won't be able to visit uh, and check up on the trap for at least a week. Um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, it's, uh, it, the batteries last and uh, some wildlife turns up. So uh, I shall catch up with you all then. Okay, so I'm back again to uh, either 
recover the camera completely or replace the batteries and leave in uh, in situ. Uh, it's been about 10 days now since uh, I was uh, I set the camera and I haven't been able to uh, revisit it to make sure it's okay. And in that week I've been running uh, a workshop for the uh, Dalmatian pelicans here on the lake. And we've had probably every single weather condition you can possibly imagine from rain and fog and uh, cold and sunshine it's been fantastic amazing conditions out on the lake last night we had a lovely dusting of snow as you can see the mountains are absolutely beautiful behind me covered in snow uh, I don't think it's gonna last though unfortunately we've got cold weather coming uh, but also uh, sunshine. So my thinking is that it's probably going to melt in the next day or so. Uh, hopefully it'll hold up on the mountain <clears throat> to make uh, to make a pretty backdrop for some photography later this week. Uh, when hopefully I'll be out looking for jackals and wildcats uh, to film and photograph. So that'll be a video to come in the next uh, couple of weeks, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just walking in to where I left the camera and uh, hopefully it's all there, still intact. I doubt it's working. Uh, I'm sure the batteries have run dry by now, especially with all this weather that we've had. So I shall catch up with you there and fingers crossed we might have some images on the camera, so I shall see you there in a sec. Okay, so it looks like all the batteries are dying. Looks like we've got a jackal. I'll have to get these back onto the laptop to see them properly because the screen doesn't give me much detail. So it looks like there was some activity. Uh, just have to see now if anything was recorded on the uh, on the DSLR. Oh, daytime jackal as well. Having a sniff around the water. I didn't get a. Sh doesn't look like the camera went off for that one though. I think I have it set so that it during the daytime it's not firing at all. It's only dawn and dusk. Oh, unbelievable! Unbelievable! A deer. Amazing. Two deer. Now that's really rare here to get the deer coming through. That's amazing. I'm really excited to get these back on, back home and... What's that? That's either the otter, which the camera didn't fire for, or it's a martin. I can't tell from this little screen. Amazing. Okay. So, let me have a look on the camera and see if we managed to get any oh, shots of it. Okay, so not too many shots fired on the actual camera itself for some reason, which I shall have to check out. I will replace the batteries and leave it out uh, for longer uh, until I can scout another location uh, which might 
be a little bit more productive. So let me just do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I managed to uh, switch out all the batteries. Turns out the batteries on the on the contraption's trigger had also died. Uh, so I switched those out. Thankfully I had enough. Uh, and also thankfully I had my screwdriver with me because on the on the contraption's uh, sensor you have to um, the back to take the back off to replace the batteries and it's held in place by four Phillips head screws. So I managed to do that as well. Um, I had a quick look at the pictures on the DSLR and they seem to be slightly underexposed uh, but I'll be better able to tell once I get them back on my laptop. Um, so I've adjusted the exposure slightly as well on the camera. Everything seems to be working so I shall leave it another week or so and uh, see if we uh, get lucky. Um, the next time I'm probably going to recover it and uh, try and build a hood over the lens port as I'm getting a little uh, bit of uh, water droplets and precipitation on the lens. So I'll try and eliminate that by making a hood over the top of that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'll show you what I did manage to get, both trail cam and uh, photos, uh, right now. And uh, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching. And uh, I shall catch up with you again very soon in the next one. Bye for now. Yeah.